Hey, what's going on folks? Captain Forest here, and today I'm here to scale Morgana from Persona 5. Now, I was originally supposed to scale the Kechi, but I'm missing some stuff, uh, because he's in like Persona 5 Royale. I have, I've, I'm currently playing for it. I only played the original, uh, and I recently bought the DLC, which I should have done from the first place. And I think there's some more stuff for a Kechi in that game, so I'm going to go and check and then if I find anything, I'll definitely do a video on him. If you guys like Persona scaling, um, I'm currently scaling 5 because that's the only game I've played. I want to play the others. Um, just let me know down in the comment section and I'll scale like the rest of the other Persona characters. Um, I want to say a big shout out also to like Frisk for um, like giving me a thread and helping me with some of the scaling for like Ren. And like like some statements and stuff even though majority of it I did find myself but some of it I did miss so big shout out to Frisk and also shout out to Phoenix because he did help me with some scans too um, so I'll go ahead and talk about like Morgana and like his general scaling and stuff um, so in terms of like attack potency so depending on how you like interpret like Persona 5 scaling um, at worst he should be like universal plus um, and I'll explain the scaling in a minute uh, low multiversal or multiversal plus and or at like at his best you can argue like outerversal for some of these characters so I'll start off with the basics so the universal plus comes from the palaces themselves so the palaces in persona 5 um, they're basically like alternate realities within within a person and it basically manifests like like an alternate version of yourself like a negative like warmth desire of yourself and you you in reality is completely unaware of your alternate self and basically the biggest example of this is like in the first like like the first part of persona 5 when uh kamoshida like the perverted like abusive a uh, gym teacher um when you go inside of his um universe inside of his palace uh, his cognitive uh, mindset he views the school as 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 like a castle like he's king of the castle like king Kam kamashida as you can see like how basically depending on like how the distorted distort distorted desire of the person views the palace it changes accordingly to what they think so this is just a couple of scans so like King Kamoshida, he thinks he's like the king of the castle, the king of the school. And like when you destroy, like when you capture the treasure or like kill the uh, the palace ruler, you destroy that universe. So that's universal plus right there. The low multiversal stuff comes from like the Yaldabaoth, Yaldabaoth. So like for example uh Yaldabaoth with his low end scaling the low multiversal scaling came from when he merged reality and uh the cognitive universe together um so they become one so that's like low multiversal right there and the multiversal plus scaling uh comes from like my mem my mementos thread so basically like all like mementos is the source of all desires and ex and it basically exists because of like the people's collective unconscious and basically it um let me find that scan it's basically the general public like all the humans in like shibuya or like in japan they all share a connection to the mementos like their own palaces their own like 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 uh un unconsciousness so like like so all of the people's collective consciousness exist in mementos. So let's say for example, like lowballing, like let's say like a town or a city, there's approximately like a thousand plus people in a town or a city. And obviously that alone is like that's about like that's easily like mul like look like multiversal plus right there. And considering like 
uh, Japan is a country in its own right. There's like thousands upon thousands of people living in Japan, and this game is, uh, and the, this game and the location is represented in Japan. Um, so if you like round up all the numbers, or even the people in Shibuya and all the other locations in Persona Five, that's easily low multiversal. There's like a bunch of people who are connected to this. So that's where my multiversal plus scaling comes from. Even like Morgana states it himself. Let me find that scan here. He says, uh, this place is the is the fused um, cognition of a countless number of people. It's constantly shifting. So right there, that's the, that's the multiversal plus scaling you can get Morgana and the majority of these other Persona users. So now the outerversal stuff, this is like the more of like the high end stuff. Um, it comes from this. So, Mementos is referred to as the heart of man, and, like, one of Ren's personas, um, or Lucifer, he says himself, like, he states, he transcend, like, um, he transcends, like, Mementos, um, as shown, the world of the heart would be Mementos, and, uh, Yusuke even states here that Mementos is referred to as the embodiment of desire of the human heart, which is true because the Elder Boat is a, the Elder Boat is an abstract being that was created from humans' desire and the cognitive mind. That's how like the Elder Boat himself, the Holy Grail, exists purely through like the abstract creation from man's own desire. So right there, you've got outerversal arguments and outerversal scaling for Persona. So you can get Morgana to these levels because Morgana did assist in like helping Ren um, with the combined powers of their personas and stuff to like destroy Yelda both at his best. So right there, um, depending on how you want to take it, you can argue outerversal for uh, Morgana or you can go with, low, with like low multiversal or multiversal plus. So the world is yours at this point. Um, as for speed easily immeasurable speed you can argue irrelevant but i'm sticking with immeasurable speed because it's the best consistently so the velvet room itself um they even state themselves like justine and um i think justine and uh christine is it carol i can't remember her name things with a c but justine explains that the limits of time and space you are accustomed to do not apply here so they're basically outside of that so that's e so they're basically moving at immeasurable speeds um and as you can see like ren is outside of reality is outside of his like like that own like time space so right there you've got like immeasurable speed uh, all of the other characters have immeasurable speed as they're inside the velvet room as you can see you've got yusuke makoto morgana himself and all these other characters moving in this um area so immeasurable speed is consistent so that's pretty much it for like morgana and like the attack potency and speed i'm gonna go ahead and talk about like his abilities and stuff so his his main persona is called soro he's like his first stage like soro uh uses a like a lot of wind manipulation a lot of like wind based attacks so for example like he can use moves such as uh, Garudine, which is a powerful green, which is like a powerful green whirlwind that wraps around the opponent, causing strong wind damage. Unfortunately, I couldn't get like screenshots and stuff because, for some odd reason, I they're just not on Google. Um, Ma, uh, Ma, Ma Garudai, which is basically a, an, an amped version of this, it's like an area of effect which traps like multiple enemies into the whirlwind and causes a lot of wind damage. And he also has, like, Miracle Punch, which, like, bypasses, like, conventional durability or, like, someone with amp defenses. So, like, say someone amps their durability so they don't take much damage. Miracle Punch completely ignores that and causes, like, a knockdown and causes, like, the opponent to be incapacitated. So, you can just go in for the kill. Uh, Morgana has, like, Type 4, like, abilities. Like, you can use, like, Type 4 Immortality to bring people back to life, such as, like, Sam, Sam Samay, Samay Skarm which is like this ability you can use, um, which brings back fallen foes. Uh, Media, Media Raman basically uh, heals all allies. So it's like type three um, regen. So he can like 
regenerate and heal people's like wounds and stuff he also has like windbreak which like nullifies like people's resistances to like wind-based attacks or like people who are just completely immune to wind-based attacks completely windbreak negates that and makes them vulnerable to it wind boost also amps zoro's wind-based attacks by 25 percent um matsu mazukuda which is all like these other moves that zoro learns uh it basically like reduces the speed and reaction speed of the opponents um of the opponent making it easier to hit them and it makes it difficult for your opponent to dodge your own attacks um which is very good in certain situations so it basically makes your opponent very easy to a uh, tag in like in like a one-on-one -on -one confrontation uh, morgana can also like transform himself into a car to help like drive to certain areas and to get to areas faster or like pick up like the persona crew uh phoenix also like dropped me a scan i might read the manga as well there, if if there's like any other feats that are in the manga just let me know but like i'm mainly using the game uh but like he, he has like smoke bombs for escape he usually uses this in palaces to like get away from guards that try to like gang up on him and could try to get the drop morgana also has like instinctive reaction because he was able to instinctively react to okumura's like booby trap which was like this shield barrier which like trapped everyone in and ren didn't even notice and uh morgana was able to instinctively react and get out of it uh, morgana also has like sensory capabilities he's shown many times that he can sense treasure he can sense enemies and he can sense like like will seeds as well so that's pretty much it for like um like those type of elements i'll talk more about his persona his other persona stages but i'll talk about some of his gears and some of like and how nasty they can be unfortunately i couldn't get any like pictures of like morgana's swords i don't know why but for some odd reason they just didn't put them on google so i do apologize so i'm just naming them so like morgana wields different types of bandit swords they all have like different hexes for example like tawa uh, tawa which is the name of one of his blades where if it if it hurts the opponent it basically confuses them and makes them like do random shit um he also has like a blade called sleep blade which basically puts you to sleep if you get hit by it um cosmo plasma sword which basically paralyzes you blood scimitar which basically causes despair it has like despair hacks and despair hacks in persona is very dangerous because if you can't break out of it you basically die you succumb to it so so it's basically has like death hacks mixed into this spare hacks basically power nulling you um neck hunter bypasses like durability um by inflicting critical damage so he can use that sword to like go against opponents who are heavily armored or amp themselves in durability he also has like a slingshot he has a couple of them um he has like utopia which basically makes you have amnesia and forget how to use your weapons and abilities it has like catnap which also inflicts um sleep manipulation so like it makes your opponent sleep if they get hit by the the pellet from the slingshot and morgana has like uh, and that's pretty much it for like morgana's like weapons and like shields and stuff he has like smoke bombs as i mentioned and his little kit so onto his like other persona he has like a second stage it's called mercurus uh, Mercurus basically like gives him like um, additional moves and passive amps and abilities. Um, wind, another wind amp, um, which basically amps his wind tax, wind attacks by fifty percent. So combined with like his previous other amp, uh, wind boost, he basically does like seventy five percent more damage with his wind based attacks. Um, he also has like instinctive reaction. The um, he has like instinctive dodge hacks to like light based attacks so i'll explain here um he has like this inherent ability called evade electricity so any electric based attack that is thrown at morgana morgana when he has like mercuros on mercuros activated like his persona he will instinctively always dodge electricity so electric based attacks are basically futile um, he also is like immune to like air air or wind based attacks like any form of wind based attack will do nothing to his persona or him 
completely immune. And he has like a, a good strong resistance to like bless light and holy based attacks. So like any like light arrows or anything like that won't really do much damage to him. He, he also has like another like type 4 immortality ability called salvation which fully heals and keeps and gets like um, incapacitated like en like allies and puts them back into the fight. Morgana has like a final stage persona called Diego. Uh, Diego basically has like majority of the same abilities as like as the as the second stage um but he basically learns a new move called miracle rush which is like he can like summon multiple like fists and they all do the same thing as um miracle punch to like bypass your ability and make your opponent um become incapacitated and of course he just inherits all like the other abilities as i mentioned so on to like the other things like all like the phantom thieves i'm not sure about I don't know if it's type 9 or 10, but I think I'm saying type 8 for now because I'm not 100% sure. But like, this is like for certain, like all the Phantom Thieves should have type 4, if not type 8, um, like immortality. Like the idea of the Phantom Thieves were erased from existence, from the minds of the masses as they were denied in, the re in their reality. Um, once that happened, they all returned, um, like back to the Velvet Room alive. So they weren't like, they weren't like erased and just gone from existence completely. You can argue it being conceptual because obviously, um, like for example, like the Elder Both, he was created from the abstract mind of the masses. So you could definitely argue like it being conceptual erasure because they basically gave themselves um, existence and made like the public who who previously denied them. He gave he made them. They, the Phantom Thieves made them all acknowledge their existence, giving them form. So, there you have it. That's pretty much it for, like, all of, like, Morgana's abilities. As I as I put here, like, you can argue, like, immeasurable speed and stuff. But yes, folks, thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this power scaling video and this Persona video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you guys want any more power scaling videos on Persona 5, just hit me up. Um, I've got more scaling to work on, but yeah, see you folks next time.